Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Ninja Turtle Lair. We're on episode 31, and you know what that means? We're giving away the Armagon Shark by NECA and Loot Crate. Uh, the winner is randomly chosen Jeremiah Hernandez with Raphael. Man, we appreciate you subscribing to the channel, commenting, and giving us our views. We're going to give you one week to comment on this video and claim your prize for completely free. It's going to be shipped to you for free and all that. All we need is a shipping address. Uh, we'll get that all taken together, or my bad. We'll get that all together, uh, the shipping address, all that. All you got to do is just comment and uh, claim your prize, man. We appreciate you for entering. We have tons of more giveaways on the way, some things that were exclusive that uh, if you didn't order, you can't get unless you pay the aftermarket price. So make sure you follow us, you know, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and uh, like this video. Let's stay up to date on everything that we post here and uh, let's get it going, man. Uh, let's jump into my IG feature of the week, which is a great photo. This is done by TMNT underscore 1987 underscore. And it has the Mona Lisa and Donnie. Looks like they're in the lair, maybe working up some concoctions to... Uh, I'm not really sure what they're doing, but it looks pretty cool, man. He's got the uh, the diamond. Does that diamond come in the accessory pack? Yes. It does? I haven't got that one yet, uh, the, the complete accessory pack. But, man, what a great shot. Look at the turtle lair diorama in there. I can't wait for NECA to offer us one, man. That's TMNT underscore 1987. Let's go ahead and move on to our first topic of the week, which is the cartoon accessory pack jimmy what you got though dude this accessory pack is so great man um i'm just like loving it it like the baby turtles are amazing the video game system are is just like awesome like everything about the diamond that we were just uh showing there in that picture like uh it was yeah. it, it, it's all great like this accessory pack, I mean, it's it's arguably, so for me, I would say there were two things that were the most anticipated things for this haul -a -thon coming out. And for yeah. me personally, I it was Zog and the accessory pack. Those were my two most anticipated things, and I am at, so stoked that I was able to get them. What about you, Ben? I'm sorry, I was playing with toys. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. it um, so I, I don't know where I have it at, but the the I think outside of the babies, of course, I love the VHS oh, yeah. tapes. So now we have a TV with a VCR where the VHS tapes can actually go inside of. Um, one yeah. thing to note, and a lot of people have asked this question. Um, there's a couple of things actually. How many VHS tapes come in there? Only one. It says two. It's wrong. Uh, it says that you only get one pizza monster. You get two of those. It doesn't mention Baxter Stockman's head with the with the crank or with the uh, shredder helmet, but that's in there. And then everybody was asking what this piece is. It replaces oh. the gun on the top of Max's head. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I did kind of an unboxing in the collector's asylum. Um, I didn't really do like a live video or a, a, a edited video it's just a live video but if you guys want to go check it out you can see it in there i unboxed the whole thing and kind of ran through all the pieces it's a great accessory pack man I, I i'm in love with these little baby turtles matter of fact i do have the diamond right here oh nice uh, yeah it's cool charlie allen pretty sure that's his name if i'm mistaken i do apologize but shout out to charlie allen man for hooking me up with this loose accessory pack it was so hard to find and he he came through for me, man. He took the, he he did take the TV, the inserts, and the video game system, which I'm fine with that. Uh, he gave it to me for a good price that I couldn't I couldn't yeah. turn it down. But man, you want to see the cutest thing in the world? The tiny weapons are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these these tiny Mike. weapons, bro. I didn't show Mikey. We got Mikey there too. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's got his little nunchucks in there. Hold on, let me put mine in there. This is the first time I've actually uh, held these in my hand. I've, I've saved them for this video. So just to show my excitement, you know, while I'm in the moment, I went ahead and just saved it for this video. And NECA Toys, 
NECA Toys, we appreciate you guys uh, for everything that you do, man. Big shout out to the guys at NECA making these things happen. Absolutely. Uh, ben, yeah, I love how that channel six is between those two dioramas right there, man. Yeah, now, it kind of closes up some of the space. There we go. So there's the Baxter head with the uh, shredder helmet. The shredder helmet. Than one of the devices it comes with. I like this head a lot better than what we originally got. Plus, any of you that got the premutation set with the broken glasses, now you got a new, a new opportunity to display. Yeah, now you got a new head. Yeah, Are I'm so excited. Yeah, my mm -hmm. my unboxing for the accessory set is up there on uh, the Triple C's uh, YouTube page right now. So go check that out if you want to see another unboxing for it. Nice. But yeah. these things are amazing. Like it, it's just yeah, so cool. I love them. There's so much. There, the, it just they jam packed it full the of all kinds of stuff. Really cool too. Well, yeah. the thing, the best thing about the accessory pack is that it's like we got one for the first movie, we got one for the second movie, and like they had hinted at some things that could be happening and stuff with it. But it's like if there's one thing from like the tune line that everybody was asking for, it's an accessory set to get these little like minor things like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like to get the baby turtles, to get Big Mac, to get the um, you know, the Baxter Shredder helmet head, like all of that stuff is just like so awesome. The great pizzas, like and the pizza monsters are different than any of the other pizza monsters yes. that we've got it. Because these ones are kind of like running along the ground on like almost all fours, whereas the other ones are standing on like two legs basically. These and are way more reminiscent of, of the aliens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way more of the Xenomorph from like the uh, Ridley Scott, James Cameron flicks. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. One thing to note too, um, I don't know if you guys have opened all the other two packs that came out for Holothon. All of them have really cool accessories that we got teased in the past that we're just now getting. Like the little uh, vacuum cleaner with the nose on it comes in one of the sets. Nice. Um, uh, what's the Rex one? He came, he's off screen. But he came with three VHS tapes. So if you're like me and you just like the VHS tapes, you get a bunch with him. Just a lot of cool accessories with all those characters. Those VHS tapes are great accessories, and I don't know why, but they I really are. They're nostalgic, <laughs> man. They're so cool. Yeah. It's like, I guess, yeah, it just takes you back, you know, into, yeah. into when we, we used to watch VHS. We're all, all three of us were born 90s or before, you know what I mean? Yeah. 1990 or before. So we all lived through it. The yeah, VHS, geez. the DVD, the Blu-ray, all that. While we're still on the topic of accessories, I wanted to go back real quick. Uh, Lee's photo choice of the week. All those little uh, scientist uh, accessories come with the Mona Lisa set, and they are super cool. Those little oh. beakers come out of the stand. That bottle that it has the straw in it, that straw comes out. The little cork comes out of the bottle. Like they're, wow. they're very I had playable. no clue. I had no clue because I haven't uh, had a chance to obtain that two pack. Yeah. My, my rep didn't, he didn't stock the accessory pack. He didn't stock the Mona Lisa, Dirk Savage, um, or the Jaguar, wow. but yeah. I did get the Dreadmon. Yeah. He's great. Yeah. He's great. He'll be an opener for sure. Box art is dope. The, Man, I really cool. like those come with the worms like the babies from the villain mm -hmm. and then yeah. the jaguar came with a basket of fruit and then dreadmon comes with a basket of fruit that's also filled with guts because he eats meat oh, oh nice. yeah i thought that i thought that it was going to be a two-pack honestly i thought it was going to be the first uh they, you know they said it newer was. looking two-pack originally i think hey, that it is what plan. it is hey i'm okay it, with it i like that, that yeah. box art yeah at least we got both of them so uh yeah. let's go ahead and move on and let's jump into Ben's IG feature of the week. What you got, man? Uh, you know how it goes. I, I went with Epic Disaster again. Uh, he produces so many awesome photos. But uh, with this one, you know, we got the last Ronin. And then you got to, I had to feature Zog. Zog's such an awesome release. Mm -hmm. Such a great figure. Um, I think he titled this one, I, I Got Your Back. Um, just a cool oh, photo, man. I mean, you could just take it in for yourself. It, there's not a lot to talk about. It's just a really cool looking photo. Great lighting. Great. I like how the, you know, I'm just one little point. I like how the, the gun looks like it's firing. That's, that's blast pretty of, good. Like, the laser yeah. coming out of it. Yeah. <laughs> and while you're on the topic of Zog, man, look, you know what? Let's go ahead and do a, uh, let's do an episode on them. You guys make sure you subscribe to the channel. 
and and uh, hit the notification bell. We'll do a whole episode on this guy because he's so good and so big. A lot to talk about with that one, and I don't want to skip yeah. over. You know, I don't, I don't want to skip over that. So yeah, we'll, we'll do us a good ten minute episode on that on that figure right there because he looks like the Hulk, but in ten, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> yeah, he's the same height amazing. as the other um, dinos, but he is, his width is insane. Yeah. What? Jimmy. I am the biggest fan of the Triceratons. <laughs> I am the biggest fan of the Triceratons. I have one gripe with Zod. His tail looks like a freaking carrot that should be eaten by Bugs Bunny. It's Look at his little, tail again. It's a little it, odd. It looks like a carrot. Mine open. And it looks... It, at it the looks end, like it's a carrot. Like a little kink in it. It's it's odd. <laughs> it looks like a carrot. Oh, Dog's tail looks like where... a carrot that should be eaten by Bugs Bunny. That's the only gripe that I have with the whole <laughs> yeah. thing. Like <laughs> I don't know how else to You're describe right. that tail other than that. I, but I love the figure. I, I mean, I will happily do ten minutes, twenty minutes, five minutes on. Time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll drop a I'll drop a video on them for sure. Um, let me go ahead and show y'all real quick what we're going to be looking into. He's so um, awesome. You see how big this you see how big this is compared to my little head, you know? And then also check out the back. Oh, look at there. Yeah, it's got a little spar on the end of the tail. Yeah, like a like a prong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at that right there. That's a that's a blue variant foot ninja on the back of that. It says to be continued. I love the yeah, tongue. I love that figure, man. Let's do us let's do us a good little a little take on this one right here, man. That's great. I feel like we just did. Yeah, right. Yeah, honestly, I feel like we just did. <laughs> We've been sitting here. You know what? Yeah, we just did. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. We, uh, we announced it and did it in the same episode. Yeah, right? there you go, Enjoy. guys. <laughs> Enjoy that. I know I enjoyed it. We were excited so, about it. He's a great figure. Uh, the only uh, not complaint too, I have is the same one everyone else has. Is they did not put the grenades on his chest, but oh. it's whatever. Is well, there a place to mount those? No. No. I, th didn't. I think they glued them on, which yeah. you can do, okay. but, you know. Uh, I don't well, want to do that, like, but, okay. To be fair, you get two round grenades, and then you get the one tall grenade. So if you really yeah. wanted to glue at least one of them, uh, one of the round ones on them, you absolutely could. But it would have been nice even if they didn't, like, uh, it, the, like the strap itself is, like, almost glued on to the front of Zog. So yeah, it's, like, even, like, 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 even if they left it open, like, just a little bit there so that you could put the handles on them and have them just, like, hang off it itself for pictures, that would be cool. But they don't even – it didn't even really give you that option. So that, that, that would mm. – so, so I got two gripes. Again. The grenades yeah. <laughs> not being able to be held onto there, his tail looks like a carrot. <laughs> hey, that's not too bad, man. Of, of gripes for a figure, you know, that's such a big figure. You know, it, there's a lot of ways that they could have messed up in that one, but they didn't. So, they did I it think right. So far, it's my favorite out of them. This new Mirage line. And let me think. Off the top of my head, Zog was featured in Mirage Comics. Don't don't quote me on it and don't laugh at me, but I think it's issue four of the Mirage comics. I think uh, right. when I think it is. I, I don't know. I don't have the comic right here in front of me. Do I? No, it's in my bedroom. I don't. I read it at night because it's fun. It's a fun read, man. The Mirage. Make sure you guys go buy that uh, on Amazon. You can get the complete or first. It's like a first little series, almost like a hardcover book for what, 25 bucks. And you can yeah. read through all the way up to. Raph one shot or uh, issue eight, I think it is. They just released volume seven, which features uh, behind the scenes art and uh, cover art and everything. It's like it doesn't have any comics and it. it's just like 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 a history of the series. Yeah, it's oh, just okay. the art. Uh, yeah, it's just the art from yeah, the I need to, run that Eastman. I need to jump did. on that. It's, it, it's an awesome book. I'm actually meeting Eastman at the end of March at C2E2. So I mm -hmm. have all seven of the ultimate collection hardcover mirage like the so like basically the complete series of that in hardcover getting signed i have a 25th anniversary that was a san diego comic-con exclusive edition so like i don't know that's like 10, oh yeah 15 years nice. old now at that at that point 
that is currently i already have it signed by eric talbot one of the other original like inkers and artists at uh, mirage that did turtles outside of uh like jim lawson and like he's part of like the jim lawson steve levine and then it's like eric talbot were like the other three guys that would also then contribute art to that original mirage run and so i got to meet eric talbot in 2017 at c2e2 so he signed that one book for me nice. and then um i'm super stoked to meet eastman at the end so yeah those mirage mm-hmm. books get them um you can find them in trade paperback they also ben even you got those right the uh colorway classics like where they yeah. you know, where, where they first put... three issues of the color classics and then issues yeah. four through seven are the hardbacks yeah but they re-released that Mirage line then in color as well. So like, if you don't want to get the original black and white stuff, you want to see stuff a little bit more bright with color or whatever, they have that color option of like going back and doing that as well. So like, that's really sweet. Um, definitely go check those out. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. I'm, I want to jump on them color uh, classics because they're good. I'm seeing all these figures come up. I've only read black and white. You know what I mean? I'm seeing all these figures come out that are colored. I have no clue where they're coming from. And then, but they look like the black and white ones. And then I realized, wait, they did them in color. <laughs> and I didn't, I just never paid attention because I'm always with the black and white comic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely going to jump on that. Super excited for this. So, you know what? Let's just, um, before we end, let's jump into my IG feature. I've got, um, uh, what I'm going to throw up here is uh, the is Zog verse uh, Rocksteady. Um, and it's from Comic Bug. 56 great great photo here it's uh you know again rocksteady versus zog ready to throw down and i'm so stoked for it i love it you already heard us talk about how much i love zog how much we love this figure i just think that this is a great battle i thought it was a really great looking photo i thought it actually is a like a really cool matchup of like one of those things of like huh who would actually win in this fight i would like to see this um so yeah I just wanted, I, I just loved it. I, I I love the showdown between them. And I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, Comic Bug 56 here. I just really love this photo. Rocksteady great has choice. Thunderbreaker. One more time? He's got what? Rocksteady has Thunderbreaker. He's going to win. Yeah. Oh, Stormbreaker? <laughs> Stormbreaker. Yeah, I see, yeah. I see it. I, I, thought that was a, I thought that was just a regular axe that came in, in the uh, Genghis, was it the Genghis Frog 2-pack, I think? No, he... I thought that was just a regular axe. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, yeah, that's a. (laughs) He's got Thor's axe. (laughs) Hey, man, that's great. That is good. I had one more little note to add. Oh, yeah. Let me go ahead and add this note. If you guys ain't grabbed that accessory pack yet, keep looking in stores, man. We're going to get them little baby turtles. Everybody wants them little baby turtles. Um, me myself, I'm gonna try to get about at least like two sets. They're so you know. Now that I'm looking at them, I want two sets because they're little. The ankles are so little, the the little joints are so small, and I, I assume that they could snap off easy. So <laughs> I'm gonna grab me another set. But hey, what a good episode, man. Make sure you comment, Jeremiah Hernandez. Get your win. Let me tell you what the next giveaway is going to be. We're looking at a cartoon accessory pack. It's going to include all four turtles. It's going to be brand new, sealed, and delivered to your door for absolutely free. All you're going to have to do is follow the steps in the videos when we post it. That's it. You can follow me, Jimmy, here at the Triple C Collective on our uh, Facebook group on uh twitter youtube and instagram all at triple c collect um i'm on the uh the mod team for the collection asylum and the turtle lair and then you can also follow my instagram yeah yeah y'all make sure y'all follow these guys make sure you join the naked turtle lair it's in the description of the video it's a facebook group join it you'll stay up to date on everything I'm, i'm talking about news every single day you would think that news couldn't be broadcasted every day but hey, we get it out there and it's like a new episode every single day. So make sure that you join the Naked Turtle Lair and, and it's, it's just a lot of fun. You can find me on Twitter at Ninja Turtle Lair, Instagram, Naked Turtle Lair, 
And then I'm always in the Naked Turtle Lair Facebook group. We appreciate we appreciate every one of you guys for joining our giveaway and be looking forward for that next giveaway for that cartoon accessory pack. It's going to be brand new, signed and delivered to sealed and delivered straight to your door for absolutely free. Awesome. Remember, all you, you got to do is comment. <laughs> ben wants it. <laughs> I have one. He wants another one. <laughs> but hey, this is Lee checking out Cowabunga. Later, guys. <laughs>